want to talk about taking my so much loved 4x4 fountain and blending that right into turning in the weaves in a high-low pattern and how those two things can look so good together. Um, we'll make more videos about other places you can go with it, but this one is just about blending those two moves. Uh, it feels really good, looks great, and it's a lot simpler than you think. Some simple prerequisites. Of course, you need to be able to do the 4x4 fountain. And I just posted a video on that, so it's probably close to this video on Playpoy. And you need to be able to simply turn in the weaves from a forward through beat weave to a backward weave, forward weave, backward weave. To turn continuously and keeping your plans. There's also a video on Playpoy about that, I think. If there's not, there will be within a couple days. So you need those two prerequisites. Putting them together with the flourish is as simple as this. Let's see. Let's look at this. So face with me, face this way. We're going to turn in that direction. You're going to do a forward weave in that direction. You're going to turn to your left shoulder. You're going to, so it's passing your toes here and the sky there back to the weave. Great, so you should be able to do that already. And what I want you to do is as you pass the first one, so as you turn your back away from the screen where you're looking at me, you're going to go low in the weave, down close to the ground. And then as you turn back towards the screen, go up to the sky a little bit. And the trick in learning this is to do it very incrementally. If you try to do too much too soon, you'll go, and you'll get all confused, so it won't work. So make it subtle. Do a, turn, a couple turns in a row, and just let it drop down a little bit, and then up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit. And then get your planes again. So as you turn towards your left shoulder, drop down, then up over the top, back to here. And you're slowly going to learn to exaggerate that. So you're going much higher there and much lower here, higher there, lower here, higher there, lower here until it feels like a big circle. And so it's gonna look like this. Low, high, low, high, low, high. And then as soon as you stop, and that'll be with your back facing away from me. I might have to rethink my approach here, but for now we'll say you got your back facing away from me. You let, as your right goes underneath, as if you're gonna go into the backward weave, that's where you go right back to your fountain, which you can already do. So maybe you want to start with that. You're going to start in the fountain. And it all begins and ends as that right hand crosses under the left. Crosses under, you do a fountain. Crosses under, you go high, then low. High, then low, back to the fountain. Let's do that also with me facing uh, the mountains. And then we can, maybe that'll help more. So we look this way. You're with me? Good. And you're going to be doing your 4x4 four four fountain. And notice how the right crosses under the left, right there, as it crosses behind you. So it's up to you. Either way, it's going to cross under and to go behind. You can either just sail through your 4x4 four four fountain, or you can turn past the sky, back to your toes, and back to the fountain. So you can do one crosses under fountain, crosses under, follow it up past the sky, down to your toes, back to the fountain. Or past the sky, down to your toes, sky, down to your toes, up to the sky, down to your toes, fountain. If that's trouble, if you're getting stuck somehow, all you need to do is take it back a step and just make sure you're learning it incrementally. So that could look like this. And again, the fountain itself is prerequisite. You need to go back to the fountain video if you don't have that. You could do a fountain, and as your right crosses under, just turn in the weaves to get back to the fountain. Do a fountain, cross under, just turn in the weaves, back to the fountain. And there, the other prerequisite is turning your weaves, keeping your plants. So make sure you can do that. Say, it's full turn, fountain, full turn, fountain. And the trick is, as you turn, 
just a little bit. Imagine like there's a, a little table. And let's imagine a little rabbit. There's a little rabbit right there on the ground behind you, and you don't want to hit it. So you do the fountain, and as you turn, you have to go, oh, pardon me, back to the fountain. You turn, oh, pardon me, back to the fountain. And then the rabbit is replaced um, non-violently by a little puppy dog, you know, which is bigger than the rabbit. So then you have to go, fountain, Oh, excuse me, Mr. Puppy Dog. Fountain. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Puppy Dog. Back to the fountain. Then the puppy dog goes off to get its dinner, and it's replaced by, um, like, a friendly cougar. But kind of, like, crouching. So then you do your fountain. You turn and you go, Oh, pardon me, Mr. Cougar. Fountain. Pardon me, Mr. Cougar. Fountain. And then the cougar goes off to possibly eat one of the other animals, and it gets replaced by a llama, because we're in Peru. So then you need to go fountain, cross under, oh, pardon me, Mr. Llama, fountain, turn, pardon me, Mr. Llama, pardon me, Mr. Llama, pardon me, Mr. Llama, fountain. And then you've got it. So again, I really like the 4x4 fountain, and I think it's just a great example of a move that comes in and out of a lot of other patterns, so I'll be making more videos, a couple more videos, on ways to use a 4x4 blending in and out of other stuff. And again, remember, if you like me, if you like these videos, if you like Poi and you like Play Poi, uh, just do be sure to visit uh, playpoi.com slash support, and then uh, you learn about the little things that really help and make me happy and feel like I'm appreciated and these videos are appreciated, which is how they continue. Uh, especially joining the mailing list, because if you join the mailing list, if I want to do something cool, like maybe I want to put a performance together and go on tour, which I'd love to do, I can tell you. Because it's getting really tough to put word out on Facebook, because it costs a lot of money now every time I want to post something, if you're going to see it. So join the mailing list, because that's much more free. Um, and enjoy.